Hey everyone, this is Dan Walter from Factory Underground Tech. In today's video, I'm going to cover session file organization in Logic. Let's get started. So first, we're going to want to open up a session of Logic. We'll go up to our top left-hand corner here and just click New. And so first, it's going to prompt us here with what kind of track we want to create. Uh, for our purposes here, let's just click Software Instrument, and we can do an empty channel strip. So now we have our session open in Logic, and we're going to want to know how to save this in a way that is nice and organized for us so that we can access our different files as we go along. So to do this, first, we're going to go ahead and click File, Save As. Now, when we click Save As, it's going to give us a couple options here on how we want to save our project. Um, I always recommend giving your project a very clear title so that you can go back to it and know exactly which project it is. So for today, let's do Session File Organization. And let's put the date there too. So 1-7-2021. And bear in mind, for whatever reason, they don't let you put slashes uh, in your session file name, so I just put dots. Um, for our purposes, I'm going to save it to the desktop right now so that we can see exactly where it is. And then here's an important part right here. It's going to ask you how you want to organize your project. Now, I recommend saving it as a folder, because if you save it as a folder, it's going to save a folder that has a couple different folders inside of it. It's going to have your audio files. Um, it'll have your actual session file, which will have this little logic icon there. Um, and then if you say if you add like a movie file in there or something like that, it'll also have that in there. And now we want to be able to see those files and access them. So that's why I'm going to click Folder. And then currently we don't have any other files in this session, but we'll just copy all of these into our session so that we are sure it's there. So then I'll hit Save. And now I've titled my session. So if we go back to my desktop here, we can see right here, Session File Organization. Now if I open it, you'll see here, here's my folder for my session. It says Session File Organization and the date. This right here is my actual Logic Project file, which stores all my session data. And then I have my audio files. So currently that folder is empty. So now I'm going to cover how you might want to save a copy of this. So as we're working on different projects, we inevitably will end up wanting to create new session files. And the purpose of this is so that we can go back and reference old sessions. You might go in and make some serious changes to one of your sessions and then, you know, perhaps you want to go back and reference something else or you don't like the changes you made and we want to be able to just refer back to those and have a clear uh, date there and everything so that we can go back to it. So let's check this out. So if I open back up Logic, I go up to the top left here, go to File, and then I click Save a Copy As. Here's where I can save a new one. So say you know, I've worked on it today, and I want to indicate that it's a new version. I might put session file organization v2, keep the date in there. And it really matters here where I save it. I'm going to save it here to that same folder. And I'll leave all these copying. I'll hit save. And then if I close out this project and open up this, I now have version 1 and version 2. So this makes it nice and easy for me to go back and refer back, say I didn't like the changes I made in version 2, I could just go back to version 1. So yeah, that's basically how I would organize my sessions in Logic. Thank you for listening. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a Factory Underground Tech quick tip video. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and feel free to comment to let us know what you might like us to cover in the future. For more info about us and our program, please visit us at www.factoryundergroundtech.com.